Hey everyone, it's Irene and I have a little project I'd like to share with you today. But before I get started with what I'd like to show you, I just want to tell you who inspired me to make the following project. Her name is Lori. Hi Lori. She's just a girl from the Bay and that's her YouTube channel. Amazing, amazing artist. Her craftsmanship, her attention to detail. Uh, she's just and just a wonderful person to listen to and just a, such a sweetie. So hop on over and check out her channel. I know you'll be glad you did. And the other person is Thrifty Lou. Oh my gosh, amazing. These two are just, I just can't wait to uh, um, learn more from them. And uh, they're just amazing people, amazing artists. So hop on over and check out Thrifty Lou and Lori, just a girl from the Bay. So here is my project I like to share. And this is a file folder junk journal. And I got this paper line is from um, Momenta. Um, there's no name to the paper line, but it's just from Momenta. And I put a little charm here, made a flower cluster with some lace left over here. And put this little memory piece that I got from Michaels. And this, the back and the front is just one piece that I cut off from a file folder. And let me go to page one here. And I stained all the edges. I made little journaling tags with a paper line and made a little pocket. These came also a uh, part of the packet of the paper. And I made little tuck spots here like that. And journaling piece here. And I added a little Tim Holtz paper clip here. Stained all the pieces also. And Tim Holtz little paper clip, a little pocket. Journaling. You can journal, put a little picture, put something here, same here. This is my very first junk journal and I didn't want to go crazy with it just yet. Just wanted to follow the girls of how they do theirs, learn from them, kind of take away what I like about them. And this is one of the things I learned from Lori and Thrifty Lou. So fun. Made a little journaling tag out of this. So thank you so much, Lori, for being an awesome teacher. And Lou, you're amazing. So funny. Adorable. Love to listen to you. Learned so much from you also. Lori and Thrifty Lou are two different type crafters when it comes to junk journaling. But in the end, they're awesome, awesome booklets. It's just so hard to call them junk journals. Because they're such works of art, I think. But that's what they go by, is junk journals. And a pretty little tuck spot that goes underneath here. And just a nice plain area here for a picture or whatever. Left it plain. Another tuck spot. There's quite a few people that you will see on the thread of junk journals. These two just caught my eye. Not only for their craftsmanship and artistry, but for their personalities and how... Their work shines because they they shine. Their personalities come through in their work. And uh, a lot of fun. So this was a lot of fun to do. But right here I had a piece of lace. It was too white. So I just stained it with some ink, uh, some stain. Make some drawing spots here. I did the stitch here and I finished it off. I just did one, two, three. And I used some cotton, embroidery cotton. Right here. Love the paper line. Made a little banner here. Made a little bit of belly band and this butterfly catches the little journaling tag. Yeah, really fun. Made a little cluster of flowers, a little uh, clip art here. I made a pocket and this is all covered in paper. So much fun. This was a lot of fun to do. It took me a couple days, but I got to do it. I'm also learning how to do some coffee staining and tea staining. And so far, I like coffee staining. I made a little journaling book here. I like the coffee staining because it takes on color quicker than tea. And it doesn't take too much coffee to do it. And I just dry it in my oven. And uh, this is really fun here. So, 
coffee staining is my preference over tea staining. Really fun. And this is again a little tick spot and the flower holds the tag in. Really fun. Love the little things. I use a little tiny attacher to make this little holder here. And then the flowers keep the tag in. Left that one blank. And that's my back. So thank you, Lori, so much for being an awesome teacher. Thrifty Lou, you are amazing also. There's so many more people out there. Yvonne White's one of them. Melly Barnes is awesome. She makes some awesome junk journals also. Um, gosh, I wish I had a list here of all the people I've been watching uh, that have been inspired a lot of this great work. But here's a junk journal, guys. Try it out. Made out of a file folder. I used a craft version. And I wanted to tell you, you know the stain here? You might think that it's Tim Holtz. Nope. I did this junk journal in the middle of the night. I didn't have any Tim Holtz stain. So I used, wait for it, wait for it. I used shoe polish. Yeah, all the staining is shoe polish. Let me go get it and show you. I've had it for a while. I bought it from Target. It comes with a sponge dauber and it's super easy to use and I just love it. This was only four dollars and there's so much of it and uh, I love the look of it. What do you think? Let me know. Yep, well, if you can go to your shoe polish and check it out. So if you don't have any Tim Holtz hanging around, go get some of this stuff here. And I love the fact that it comes with its own dauber. And it dries really quick. There's no smell. There's no stain uh, on my hands or anything. It washes right off if you did. And it just makes everything look really super old. So let me know what you guys think, okay? Thanks so much, everybody, for stopping by and checking out this project. Hope you guys try your hand at junk journaling. It's a great way to use up those scraps and paper that you're wondering, what can you do with besides just cards? So... This is my version of using up scraps. All right, guys, thanks so much. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.